even though I probably might have not needed it physically because I f was up and out and everywhere mentally if you can take three weeks off or a month off it's I think it's a good idea because I'm such a I'm a person that I worry about everyone else and I feel like the past three weeks I worried about myself it's like the hell with the the chores in the house the hell with cooking I needed to do me and I needed to worry about me and put myself back in a good place in order to go back to work so um when people say that this is a very emotional, it is an emotional journey. It's very mental. It's not just a physical. But, I mean, it, it is physical because I go work out for 30 minutes and I come home and take a two-hour nap because I'm really, really tired. Um, so, yeah, it's physical. But, it like, it's mental, too, because you're getting your body used to not eating. You're getting your body used to not having this and not having that and... Um, you know, being around people, there are, they can eat, and how you have to handle that, and it can be a little emotional, like, I went to TGI Fridays with my family, and guess what, everybody got to have a margarita, and I couldn't have one, and I really wanted one, but I couldn't, because can't drink for, um, I think it's six months, I don't know if it's a year or six months, but I hope it's six months, because on my birthday in April, I want to have a drink, <laughs> um, so, you know, it takes a toll on your mind too. Um, it's funny because uh, one of the topics that I brought up at the the, the, the um, support group was about do you tell people that you've had the surgery or do you keep it a secret? I mean, I can be honest and tell you that no one really knows that I have my vlog channel that's um, a friend of mine. Um, not even my, like, neighbor, no one in my support group knows that I've made this. This is something for me and to help people. And, um, maybe one day I'll be able to tell them, hey, I made my YouTube channel. But for right now, I'm not ready for that. And I ask them if they tell people that because I feel like people judge you. Um, and I know it's only three weeks in, but it's really frustrating. For example, um, my aunt... Uh, probably two weeks ago and I was they were sitting there asking me how everything was going and I was going good I go but I'm just so hungry and they're like she's like what do you mean you're hungry you shouldn't be hungry blah 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 and, and then I was like I just want to eat real food and she's like you shouldn't be thinking like that blah blah blah, blah. and it's like scolding me and it's like you know I just went through this major surgery I know what I have to do I know what I, you know, what my body's telling me. And yes, you're, you're gonna, you can be hungry. When you have this surgery, you can be hungry. Trust me. Especially for someone that for two weeks, like me, wasn't eating at all because I couldn't bear the stand, I couldn't stand, uh, the liquids. I couldn't stand the soup anymore. It was, it was gotten to the point where it disgusted me that I was like basically not eating anything. So yes, uh, you can be hungry. And even now, I get hungry and I know I can eat. But guess what? You have, you know, four or five bites and I'm full. And um, so it's aggravating when your body's and your mind and you're going through all this stuff and people are being negative around you. It can be really um, just stressful and annoying and... Um, aggravating you know because when she left I was in tears and I told my mom I don't understand why people have to be like that and my mom you know she's sympathetic and she understands she's like there's no way that I don't I don't think that I'd be able to be you know on liquids they just don't know that you've been having nothing but liquids for a month and you know you're around all this food and you can't have it and it's hard and no, you're not going to stop eating. That's the great thing about the sleeve and why most people pick the sleeve. If you decide to pick the sleeve is because your body is able to tolerate a lot more things than other, um, other surgeries like the gastric bypass and not knocking anyone who's had the bypass because that might be the route, you know, the route that you go with. Um, but a lot of us that pick the sleeve, it's because you know that you'll be able to have a lot of things again. It's just that you know after a bite or two of it, you're done with it. And that's all you need. And I didn't want to eliminate um, all the food. You know, I like, I, I, you know, I am enjoying eating now more than before. 
And um, so, you know, that was one of my questions. And it seems like everybody was just like, you know, they shout it from the rooftops. There's something that they're so, you know, happy about. But I was able to discuss with some people. Like uh, one girl in support group said that one of her friends that was new to the group said that she took the easy way out. And she didn't say it in a mean way, but she said it. And um, it's like, and everybody there is like, easy? This is far from easy. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. Um, so people that are thinking about getting it, you know, having it done, not to scare, scare you away. Because I've never lost almost 40 pounds in a month, ever. And if you can tell me one time that you've lost almost 40 pounds in a month, then... You know, more power to you. Maybe the surgery isn't for you, but for most people, and I'm sure almost all people, that's nearly impossible, especially without the surgery. Um, and it's not easy. It's not easy. Um, those first couple of days, and I didn't even want to make videos because I just felt so terrible and I was in a lot of pain. Um, it's not easy. And every day for the rest of my life that I have to think and watch what I eat and, you know, care for this sleeve, it's not easy. So, um, I was surprised that someone had the, the balls to say that to her. Um, and another lady told me that, um, a lady had come up to her and she was wearing a blouse with, um, without sleeves and she has excess skin and her insurance doesn't want to pay for it. And apparently I'm, I'm assuming she, she can't afford to have it done. And she made a comment about it. And I'm like, really? This lady? Amazing. Amazing job. Um, I think she told me she was over 500 pounds, but she had lost some weight before she had the surgery. And now she was down to 260 or 270. Um, but, you know, an amazing job that she's done. Here she is, lost 300 pounds, probably close to 300 pounds. And someone's going to sit there and say something about your, you know, your skin that's a little sagging. I mean, can we not focus on the fact that this lady has done an amazing job to have lost so much weight and is half the person that she was before and you need to throw that in her face? I mean, people just don't think before they speak. It's ridiculous. And I'm sure that we've all said things that probably hurt people's feelings, but I don't know if I've ever said something to that extent. I mean, hasn't someone ever heard that if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all? I, I don't know. Um... And people just explaining to me their different situations and um, basically that we you got to block that out. You got to block those people out and just think in your head, yes, people are going to put you down and going to question your judgment. And it's funny because before I had my surgery, I had like a handful of people besides my family that I told that I was having the surgery. Why? Because... I didn't want people's negativity bringing me down. I'm like, I don't care afterwards. They can say whatever they want to say afterwards. It's done. But I don't need people to freak me out or scare me or put doubts in my head before the surgery. Because I, I had something that I had taken years to finally decide to do. Because it's a big, altering, life-changing experience. So, um... Like I said, we talked about that, and, and it made me feel really good to know that I'm not the only one that's felt like that. They've had people say things to them, and it's just like we got to block those people out and surround ourselves around positive people. And I'm sure my aunt didn't say that those things to, to hurt me, and she doesn't know what um, what I can and can't do with the, the sleeve. And, I mean, I, she, just, she doesn't know. But still, at the same time, you, you know, you're grouchy because of the food. You know, you're wasn't probably sleeping at the time and it's just so much stuff on you and your body's going through these changes your head is going through these changes and then to add someone's little comments like that it really really bothers you and it really affects you so um like I said I'm just trying to be optimistic and push those people out of my life and I'm not going to push my aunt out of my life obviously but I'm learning to take um not take it to heart when someone says something that's stupid or ignorant or anything else, you know, just block it out and, you know, brush your shoulders off or whatever um, and just ignore the haters because it's going to be a lot of hate. I have a feeling that this is just the beginning. Um, and like I said, my aunt probably didn't say it coming from a mean place, but I'm sure other people will, will make comments or have um, things to say. But um, 
I guess it hurt more because it was coming from a family member. I think my mom ended up mentioning something to her and, um, you know, told her that it, this is not uh, a walk in the park and this is not easy. And, you know, you have to be more sensitive to what she's going through right now. So um, she was over here actually this week and she seemed like a lot more pleasant with me. So maybe she just was talking and didn't realize, uh, you know, the effect that those words had on me so um i guess with that i'll leave you guys this is gonna have to be two videos because it's extremely extremely long um again i'm so sorry about the other video not going up i'll even try and see if i can post it again because i did talk about um some of the foods and different things on there so i'll see if i can post it again um but i should be getting a camera this week hopefully and that will solve some of my problems and hopefully it'll be a lot faster to upload to YouTube um, because this iPad and then I'm using like the iMovies things to edit them so I don't know if that's got something to do with it but um, we'll work on that and hopefully in the next coming, coming weeks that me uploading will get faster and easier and better. Um, I want to make a video probably either like Thanksgiving night or like Friday. I don't know. I'm going to go shopping Friday. So sometime Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday, I want to make a video just to kind of talk about what happened with Thanksgiving and let you guys know what I ate, what I couldn't eat, um, how much I could eat, and kind of talk about what my struggles were for on Thanksgiving and, um, you know, just kind of go through the holidays with you guys because you guys are going to be coming up and having it soon. Um, maybe Christmas might be something that might be a little spoiled because of it, but hopefully um, it's going to be well worth it. And we can't think of that. We have to think of the positives that's going to end because it's not like it'll be our last Christmas we'll have next year or whatever. Um, I'll actually be able to eat regular food on Christmas, so that's something to look forward to. Um, but let's see, because Thanksgiving is all around about food, and we talked about that in our support group too. Um just make sure you put protein first and you can have really much, pretty much whatever you want because a couple of bites and you're pretty much full. So, um, like I said, I'll make a video in the next couple of days just to kind of um, give you guys an update on how that went. And I'm sorry about my other video. Again, I'm so sorry. Thank you to everybody who watches my videos and for subscribing. It means a lot to me. And like I said, if you have any questions, comment below. I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. And um, just really anything that I can help you with, let me know. Um, so thank you so much for watching my videos. And I will talk to you in a few days. And have a happy Thanksgiving, you guys. And stay safe. Bye.